All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is I, USA Bruce, with a second cast in the same night. What? The same Devil's Magic? Well, I don't know, today I felt pretty energetic. I liked it. Anyways, we are on the map, uh, Natural Threats Riser Reds 1K version, which is basically an old um, balancing thing, because back in the day you had to spend like 2K on some wheel wells. No, wait. They, these were burning oils, and you had to spend uh, 1k on them, now they're 750, so the name is pretty much outdated. On top we'll have um, Exaz as our brown china, which is pretty weird because Exaz loves the light blue, the cyan, a bit, yeah, and the vitamin rust is on the bomb as our Russia. Okay, so on the other end, it's funny because um, I have three replays I want to do tonight. I think next one is going to be the one with Exaz as well, I'm not sure. But I do know that the game, re game before this is vitamin. Vitamin's game too, so Vitamin's pretty popular these days. I like that he's playing so much. Good on you, Vitamin. I'm gonna see a good supply placement from this fact. Uh, not so good, actually. Not so good supply placement. Uh, this is not so good either. Vitamin runs through a beacon. He's like, uh, it is the spy. And I uh, better supply placement from Exatus, but this one is bad as well. Still no second supply truck over there. Quick tier one. Jesus, really quick. Any War Factor in it coming out? I don't see it. I think Exas is just going to rush Dragon Things or something. Uh, these comes without capturing oil. There's not a lot of infantry around to capture stuff or contest them. This oil is getting captured. Byman does see this, and he's going to definitely see that these... Um... Actually, no, he, I don't think he sees these. Yeah, he, he doesn't see these red guards going here. He's going to capture the hospital, though, which is pretty significant for Russia because they do stack with the med kits. It's not maybe everything, but it's something. Now, Tuguska going on the left for harassment, but the Battlemaster is going to roll in to protect the Red Guards. The uh, the Battlemaster does do first shot, does scare off the Tunguska. So smokes are getting popped. And it does remind me, honestly. Uh, actually, it's going, yeah, it's going to be able to catch it, actually. Oof. One more? No, no, the Pathfinder terrain is going to get it. Ah, <laughs> he survived. Oh god, Kodiak buddy, is, uh, big Kodiak bro is coming. Yeah, he's going to probably disengage. you probably see the Kodiak. No, he doesn't. He just knows that it's too late to do anything about it. And he's going to capture this, but he, you can deny capture if you upgrade it. Now, two more Balmas coming on the right. They will be killing this Mishka, which will be doing a nice amount of vision to um, to Vyman. Now, just watch how it just vanishes. There it is. Gone. Okay, on the right, this Kodiak is going to be bla just blaming off that Battlemaster. And now these two Conscripts will kill that Red Guard. No, a male expansion coming from Vitamin Rust, but he definitely needs to do something against these Battlemasters that's just form popping up. Kodiaks are coming up, Tier 1 is getting formed up by uh, by Vitamin, but... Oh, the first MIG is up in the air. Breeder Reactor already, Jesus Christ, Exad is just slow out with the tech rushing. Um, MIG does get slapped down the Kodiak, still at 60% uh, HP or something. It only takes 40% of a Kodiak. It's 50% of a, um, a Crusader. And other tanks, actually, yeah, I think it takes like... 80% from his Kodiak. You need two mix for him anyways. Anyways, we're going to see this first Kodiak and these battles get killed by something. I'm not sure. I think it's the garrison here. But there's an RPG conscript, that conscript right now. They're going to be engaging this Battlemaster. This tier 1 does manage to get posted. Uh, let's see now. Let's see. Yeah, the hospital does get burned down because uh, Exatus doesn't like two things in this map. Garrisons and infantry. He doesn't like infantry. So whenever he sees a hospital, he has the hugest hard on to kill it. You should see in uh, one of our games, I think in the past, he used actually a nuclear parabomb on this map because he knew that he couldn't kill it normally, so he fucking, yeah, three, yeah, three is enough to kill one actually. Yeah, but yeah, he used a fucking nuclear parabomb to kill it because he knows how much of an infantry lover I am. And just to make sure I didn't get the hospital, he fucking nuclear parabomb. There's three GPs, Jesus Christ. Ah, uh, yes, we do see the Fireport Mishkas, and if you guys don't know, in the current version of the game, the five port Mishkas actually give garrison bonuses, which is actually a huge error in the code that it's just a funny bug at this point. Like, it's a silly unit. All right, it's so fucking broken, and you need to have proper counters with factions. And the only captain that can actually counter is probably USA and um, China, and to an extent, maybe Russia. But for Russia, they need. <sighs> they need to be prepared for it more than others. Maybe even a GP for Sokols, maybe. I do like the component tower over here. Kashtan will be, will be defending these units, but I don't get why he's not putting it here, because that's where his supply line is going. There's no metal collection coming out from Exas, but he is tier 2 already, and he's going to be pumping out some overlords, some bunker lords. Oof. Now, remember, I did tell you guys the bunker lord meta, and this is a new religion. It's the bunker lord religion. 
Um, there's a speaker tower over there right now. That's pretty sweet. Um, let's see. Let's see. Alright, double check. Um, uh, so yeah, that is uh, the volunteers are coming in the left. They will be probably zoning out. I'm probably gonna kill the oil oil Derek. If Brentino does pop out right now, though, it might be GG. Yes, there it is. But he needs to be properly controlling his Brentino, as if they do get him in range, they won't be able to kill it. Yeah. Fire one more missile? Yeah, that won't be enough. Black Lotus is already Yeah, He's going to be taking that oil back from Vitamin right now. That was well played. I do like that the... Um, there's a Hung Gunship. Oh, there's a Hung Gunship. There's four MiGs already in. Yeah, Exas sure does love his MiGs. Vitamin... I don't know how. He, he must be floating, but he's lacking resources right now. I don't understand. Is it because of the supply placement? I do hear a Tesla somewhere. Oh, there it is. Tesla tank. Yes. These are basically MiG food. Just click and kill for MiGs, come on. Are you gonna really kill that? Oh, yeah, oh, wow. Yeah, Lotus does come in, does disable it, and the Bunker Lord is like, pew, 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 pew. You're gonna do shit. Okay, definitely needs to get these uh, Shock Trooper Mishkas out, but yeah, this uh, Bunker Lord is gonna shoot anything. Oh no, there's a uh, Boris RPG in. If you can get the aim shot, it will be doing a ton of damage. We are gonna see that uh, this the Lotus will be trying to capture this uh, War Factory. They should definitely sell the War Factory, sell the War Factory. Oh, he does, good, good, good. First uh, Overlord does go down, and the second one is disabled by the aim shot. That's well played on uh, Vitamin's part. Air support is still lacking. Where is that air support? Honestly, it's not enough to risk us to kill anything. And both of them do get killed, and without the uh, ice instability, they do mass, uh, they do damage each other and destroy. It. On top of that, um, the radiation will kill the tank hunters. Okay, now there's a punch with mixed strike coming again. I'm not sure what, is going to kill one Kodiak. Oh, there's one Badger. Get no. One Badger gets killed and that's it, and for that he just traded in one MIG, I think. No, two MIGs? One MIG, yeah, one MIG. I mean, Black Lotus, uh, is she dead? I don't know, but there's a heroic RPG, Boris, Jesus Christ, no, her, she's not dead. She's not dead, but that's a heroic RPG, Boris, Jesus Christ. That thing must hit like a, you know, fucking, almost hit like a bull. Poof, yeah. Actually, yeah, Lotus does have detection enabled, so yeah, these Bunker Lords will let me go inside and destroy him to shreds. He doesn't have any air support. Vitamin definitely needs to learn what a helipad is. Jesus Christ, Vitamin. I should definitely write this. Um, let's see. The hacker farm is kind of starting to get built up by Exatus. I do like to see that there's more bunkers coming in, some volunteers as well. No secondary economy coming in from my uh, uh, vitamin, as I don't see anything coming from industrial plant. No arm supplies around at all. No, let's see, let's see. Infantry on the right. No, uh, no, okay for a component tower. I don't like that War Factory's placement, but that is the component tower again. These cash downs and tier two upgrades, like Jesus Christ. I don't know. Now he did capture that oil, but. I mean, what's the point? Is he going to upgrade that? I don't think so. Maybe he's giving me vision or does he get any vision? Not really, no. What's this? Oh, wow, this scout is still in the base? Ah, that's hilarious. More bunker looks to be formed up. Sorry about that. Yeah, it's a terrible cough right now. Bunkerloads are getting from the item. I do think they have an ice top stability right now. Yeah, they do. They do have ice top stability. And wait, I do hear Zap. Oh, he killed more volunteers. Oh, that's fine. Um, the Gorgons are going to start engaging, and they are just going to be shocked by bombardiers as well. But there's nothing to really man fight this. Oh, this component tower is upgraded, but it's not going to be. In, it's not going to have any power. No, no, uh, no RPGs here. But still, they going to have minimum range, and everything here is going to get destroyed. Where's the units? What are you doing? Where's the units? Where's the pickles? Where's the... Where's the pickles? All the Gorgons and Shark Hop bombardiers get destroyed with these overlords rushing them and getting inside mere range. Jesus, what was that? No, not even a single prop to overlord either, you know? Okay, kill them at least, like... No... Of course not.
All right, let's start with that. Oh yeah, Overlord's going again, destroying things on the right. There's a Sentinel, but that Sentinel's gonna get Lotus Hack. He's actually playing this really safe and really well. This uh, Shock, tr oh wait, oh. Shock uh, Tesla Tank might do some good damage, but he's not gonna be able to kill anything, honestly. And by Boris does get killed with the uh, the Tesla, what's the name? The, oh, oh, the Lotus, but now we see the Fire Force fucking <laughs> The Fire Force Mishkas, and like I said, these things are broken right now, they're overpowered. They have that range bonus that they should not be getting at all. So MIGs are the only way you can actually engage these things. They do kill the MIG, uh, uh, the Mishkas, but the units inside are still in live. Oof. So these guys are shocked to get some bonus as well, but, you know, um, there's no upgrade for Trana, gives them 25% extra bonus either, so... This is fine. Look at look at that range. Look at that range. They're just trading shots by shots with Gat Lords. <laughs> I mean, I remember exactly saying this is fine, Bruce. We should keep this. You should see this against an ECA. I guess an ECA is really hard to counter that Mishka thing. Especially on an RPG board somewhere. One more hit, one more hit. Oof. Kill this. Kill it with the Sentinel now. Sentinel. Uh, no. Sent oh, wait. Rank to boards. That's even better, actually. Okay. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Come on. Any Mishka's coming up? No? What's he doing then? I mean, it's like an economy. What is he doing? Like, what's the what's the focus here? Oh, Boris does get killed again. That's a real shame. Shock Troopers do, do get, get managed to just get destroyed, and these Bunker Lords will be doing their damage. This, um, this War Factor is going to go down. I'm going to say that he's probably rank 3. Like, both players should be rank 3 right now. Um, wait, he went for Bunker Lords, so I guess that's the reason why he is probably rank 3 by now, but I don't know. Uh, let's see. No. Okay. <laughs> Component tower in front of the power plant. Sure, buddy. That's gonna definitely help you, yeah. Does he have the bear, the power plant bear upgrade? Wow. He has a power plant. Does he have the ERA upgrade? No, he has all the T1 upgrades. That's that's cute, actually. I can respect the guy that likes the T1 upgrades. Any uh any upgrades for the? No, no, okay. So our middle collection is almost like he did collect most of the middle, but somehow Exaz is out, you know, out equaling this guy. It's because he made bad trades and constantly lost units, but I don't know. The hacker farm is for established. Now we're gonna have hacker trucks come out. Uh, more volunteers getting posted. Volunteers are gonna be with those guys, the bazookas and SMGs. We're gonna see his volunteers come out with these overlords. Wingfang in the back for a guy who didn't even <laughs> build a fucking helipad. It's fucking 14 minutes in the game, and you should be having a fucking helipad by now. Gorgons are gonna get zoned in by these uh, volunteers, and they're gonna get killed. They're gonna oh, oof, they should kill that. If that shock to survive, guys, that's gonna be awesome. Shark Bombardier is gonna be doing his best. He's gonna be like taunting these. Um, Causing these guys. Um, let's see, two conscripts there as well. Oh, shotguns! Yes, shotguns, 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 shotguns. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, a load of shock bombardiers and they over uh, and essentially in the front line. This will be probably over to hold them back if they have a choke point or if they just get thrown back. But um, I think he definitely needs something more. Wait, RPG force did manage to do an aim shot on this overlord, which does manage to take it out. Uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, let's go around. Gorgon's gonna do some good damage over there. Uh, let's see. Oh, we do see arm supplies. I'm finding some second recoil from Vitamin Russ. Holy shit, why is this money? This replay can't be right. Like, I get. I can expect. I can expect him to have 8k, but what the fuck is this? 
When the fuck did he have 15k? When did this happen? Why? Why is this basher going? I, I'm so confused right now. What? Is this real? No. It can't be real. No way. More volunteers. I guess that Xaz has, you know, accepted the over uh, the bunker road religion, which actually denies faith into the religion of infernos or something. I don't know. Oh, there is the Shenlongs, and those are some rare units. I don't know what to say about this. I mean, these are both good counter to each other. Like shock troops are good against anything, and Shenlongs are good against infantry and anything on the ground. So I guess it's like a pretty balanced trade off, but. Oh, the Sentinel is here. The Sentinel will probably penetrate the shit out of that thing. This, uh, you, you're not, you're not going to protect that bag. Don't even try to repair it. Who are you kidding? <laughs> Barracks can close it again, yeah. Oh, Dimitri, why is Barracks 10 meters back in the back? I don't know. It was destroyed or something. Ugh, this is just... See, this is why I don't think that the shotgun should give a speed decrease, but at the same time, I do think that he is now, like... Thing to keep them in check. Well, more. Is that second twin fang? Yeah, second twin fang. I guess a guy who's not in rank three. I think is it rank three? He should be rank three, but I don't see anything coming from him right now. He's as at 14k now. Why is that 3k? What is going on in this game? What a strange, strange game. Scout missile going in, gonna scout the shit out of that air warfare, uh, that power plant, get a few health out of it. And he sees that there's a fully upgraded Chinese flag. Actually, I think he has. Wait, what? What, what did this just get bombarded by? I missed it, I must have missed it. Well, again, gonna be trying to get rebuilt because why not? Like, you're not gonna get a supply in the critter for some for reason, I guess, even if there's like, what, 7k? Yeah, there's like 5k there. There's a lot of wing things though. They don't have any horde bonus or props, so that will really hinder them actually. And the spellmaster is still being heavily damaged. I think this is a corrupted replay. I don't know. I, I don't believe this replay. Like 15 can buy him and he just did nothing with it. Like Exas is floating a bit, but it's his thing. <sighs> Radar post being built. Uh yeah. Spy plane getting sent out. Exas gonna see that um, he has this kind of composition on our grumbles. Also infantry, so definitely need some like red guards or volunteers or miniguns against this. Is that Tesla what? Tower? Oh, that's really rare actually. I can't remember the last time I saw a Tesla Tower. I heard zaps. Oh, wow. Congratulations, you're retarded. What now? Oh, you killed it. Nice. Okay, get back. You Actually, if you take down the Garrus, they could actually kill both of these guys. Uh, I think it's is like a flame hunt. Yeah, there's a flame hunt that could save us, maybe. Ah, uh, that's a shame. That's a shame. These overlords would, you know, fucking uh, the missile upgrade is so good. Not the missile upgrade, the uh, the fusion reactors, the nuclear reactors. Yeah. Ah, uh, coil golems. Oh no. Boy, shit just got real. We have hit scan golems now. What you gonna do when we come for you, go limbs, go limbs, these coil guns? What you gonna do when we fuck you on mine? Wait, that was the song. I uh, do like the scouts around. He's like, you know, I should click on the the intern center. Nah, I'm gonna just build scouts, I guess. I mean, is this a real replay? I'm curious. Though. Wait, I heard a helicopter. Is that like a conscript drop anywhere? 
I heard a hunt of drop helicopters in Array. Did he go for the uh, Goliath upgrade? I mean, he doesn't even have a helipad right now, but... Possibly? Oh yes, the balanced long-range detection GP ability for the uh, for China. So balanced, look at that. What is that, new cannon range? So balanced, yes. Enemy commander detected. Oh, what's he doing? I'm not sure what happened here, but oof. Infernos came in and the Shen Longs are bringing the pain, baby. I think the RPG board has actually damaged this, but yeah, this artillery is going to get melted and the board... The only thing goal, there is the golem, and that golem is not going to have enough damage right now. It's going to do a good amount of damage, but not, nothing anywhere near enough. And the middle army just got... Yeah, it just got destroyed as well. Oof. You should definitely move these golems in. Yeah, you should probably move them in. And uh, just try to go inside the next to the just like zone them in, because you're going to get hit by his firestorms, I think. Ah, uh, yes, the Tesla Tower actually killed something. I should clip that. That's so rare. Pew, pew, pew. Yes. Oros and Bunkeros are going to be hitting these Sentinels, and they are going to get flanked entirely. Scabbling tank and lost using spares, but it's not going to be enough. These uh, smokes are going to get popped. Maltese might die, but even if they do, it's still like decent trade. Yeah, one of them is dead. That's good enough. But the second one, yeah, dead. So 6k for 2k. Uh, yeah, or it takes 2k. 2.2k? I don't know. That was still a decent one, I guess. These uh, shock bombardiers will be doing a lot of damage on the overload with that choke point. You did throw in the repair GP, but I think you can't use that with propaganda. Yeah, I don't think they stack. Oh, wait, that was the, um, that was the zero hour one. Never mind. Zero hour if you use the uh, emergency aid with uh, propaganda one more. The light time coming in, and yeah, the man who never built a helipad has built one twenty minutes in the game just for the light cheap. And I'm like, okay, that's what you want, okay, buddy. I will say one thing: if you are against the overlords and you don't have ECMs, then you should definitely go for helians. That's just generally better because this is the one I heard. This is the one he dropped the uh, what's this called again? Brizon. Grizzon, Grizzly, uh, same thing. All right, let's see now. Anything else going on? 23 minutes, 25 minutes of the game almost. Shock Bombardiers getting, doing their best, but getting zoned by these Now the Shock Tesla tank is there. I'm not testing the Tesla tower. They'll be zapping at one Overlord, and these Borgans will be finishing off the second one. Shock Bomb is not doing that much. Oh no. Forever waste, wasteful forever, wasteful forever, boom. Now they're going to say, Bruce, how did he know that it was coming? Well, look, satellite hack plus scout. Satellite hack is a great GP. You guys should fucking get it like this guy and know how to use it. It's an amazing fucking GP. Oh, that scout just got detected by something. I'm not sure what, but he just got, you know, he forced fire or something and got destroyed. Oh god, if Napalm strike coming in, he does have the uh, the black Napalm in, so yeah, these, these won't be enough. These bombers will go in, they will be taking out... Um, no way, that's a perfectly drop strike. Is that going to be enough? It's going to be enough. Perfectly down, the IP goes down entirely. It's because of the size, I think. And yeah, that industrial plant does go down, but all the armor supplies do survive, so... It's just slowed down the economy, honestly, but still, I will say that's a good hit, because now he can't build two units if I remember correctly. So, we don't say, oh, Black Bear. Oof, Oof Bear is basically what he is. But he definitely needs more infantry and more things in the front line than this. So, Shock Bomb is against Infernos. Who wins? Of course, Infernos. You get Gorgons or something. Oof, they're perfect hits too. They're just all cooked so good. Not a single casualty on this side. And this Sentinel has been trapped by the Venomous Legs, or, you know, the, vixen, the Vixen's Legs of Black Lotus. Black Bear is out on the field. He will be pounding out on anything he sees. This uh, this hunchback decided to get too excited and kill something. Um, come on, shoot it. Yes. Yes, that's all we can die. Yes, good, good. Kill them all. Second, the second set is going to get caught, caught off by Black Lotus again. That is a shame. I don't see that there's enough infantry or anything, like any, and there's no infantry next to this, that doesn't make me sick, I need to get like 50 shock RPGs with this. This is going to get detected by the uh, the sensor tower because 2-2 detection has too much range and it's overpowered the Reds. Fight me if you disagree, 
swear to God, fight me. That's so she bullshit. The only decent one, I guess, would be the GLA-1, because the GLA-1 is justified. Like, given how good the radar trucks are, they're pretty good. Like, they're better than the radar trucks, and that's, like, acceptable. And the USA-1, because they're both tier 1, and they both have small AOE. It's good enough. Just a pink for the USA-1 sucks. Wow, that's a lot, a lot of um, hack fans. Meanwhile, um, Vitamin Side is not doing that well. He's not that bad, but not anywhere near what he has because, you know, the thing with Chinese Eco is over time, they level up. So, um, yeah. Gorgon will be slowly ticking off of this health of this thing, but it's not going to kill it. And there's no propaganda, uh, what's his name, Overlord for some reason, so it's not going to be enough. Boris is still doing nothing either, that's, that's strange. And a single Hellion. I mean, is this why he made got the GP and got this a single Hellion? Oh uh, yeah, the the Overlord just get uh, destroyed by the uh, like just get disabled by Boris, and now the Blackbird is ranked two. He has an EMP bomb that hasn't been used, so this would be the perfect place to use it if he has it. I still think that uh, Exas has some ranks he didn't use, or is that just me? Like, I don't think he was going to leave his helicopter along. I, I think this game is corrupted to an extent. Not perfectly, but to an extent. That's, those those things seem like they probably got used and died someplace somewhere. I don't know. All I know is that these Infernos are still silly and what's he gonna do with them? Wow. Wow, single Hellion. I am amazed. He builds one Hellion because, you know, each helipad can actually um, hold one helicopter at a time. Wait, it's just in. Helicopters don't really need an air airfield to work. Oh, well, I've been informed by this, so I don't really know what's going on. Uh, any more helipads? No? Not saying any second recall coming out? No? And this army's gone basically through it, so it wasn't Blackbird. Did he kill the Blackbird when I wasn't looking? Jesus Christ, he did. Jesus Christ. Fucking hell is that? What is that? Rank 1 Sentinel will probably try to kill the Inferno, but it's gonna probably hit the uh, the tank hunter instead, knowing him. Oh no, he does manage to kill the Inferno, that's good at least. These uh, sh these coil goals will be pretty good to countering these um, overlords up because uh, they're better against overlords in general. Go Sentinels are better against overlords. It's just, you know, they have the invulnerability plus um, the rank 1, their hit scan. So they're basically the best trash unit of Russia right now. A trash unit is basically a unit that you can count, use against anything that's going to be a good unit. Oof. Heroic gold. Okay, now go kill all those fucking uh, Infernos. Come on, do it. Move up, move up, come on, yes. Use it, on top. Use the ability, use the ability, use the ability! Use the ability, you madman! What are you doing? Use the ability! Use the ability, you're mic ring and use the ability. Sorry, God, if you don't use the ability, you get to say, by those, I might hate you forever. I hate you forever, Vitamin. I hate you forever. That was just a good part to use ability. Why? I do find it weird that he doesn't use the airfoil as much right now. And I think I am, like I said, I'm missing GPs, I'm sure of it. There must be GPs I'm missing somewhere. Whoa, we hit the 30 minute mark. Oof, talking about 30 minutes straight. And another single helicopter getting sent in. Okay. Are these twin things are gonna have the range? Yes. Damn you, machine. Damn, curse you, machine. Yeah. <sighs> okay. You know what? I'm not gonna cast the next game after this. I'm just feeling too fucking tired. Ugh. What time is it for me? Oh, 2 a.m. Jesus Christ. Another napalm track getting used. It's going to kill the arm supplies in the war factory and the radar. No, nothing else, but the arm supply does make it worth it. It's like, I don't get this helicopter correction at all. Rogans do manage to kill one, I think, in front of. That should be enough. You can kill one this one. It's probably pretty nice. These uh, these overlords are going to get destroyed, but this RPG force is going to get you know hunted down. But he's going to try to evade them off. Oof! Overlord does get the killed by the hind. Use the light. 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 No, 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 no need. He's just heroic for some reason now. Oh. 
Man, don't you remember when Russia got advanced training? Good times. Oh wait, they don't. They just they just free our survival units, so they don't need advanced training. That's a lot of fucking Gatling cannons, though. He does not want any fallout. So now I can see this. I'm not sure how. Or oh, is there something next to it? I think there was a tank under volunteer next to it. Oh, okay. So right now we are watching a 1.7k owning. Yeah, he's 15k probably. Yeah, 13k. I knew it. He's getting more mixed. So I guess. Air, yeah, it's not that corrupt. I just think that this these Hong Kong ships probably had some role. They did it. They died, and that's not showing in the replay, I guess. <laughs> okay, mix come in. They're gonna kill some of these Gorgons. Three out of three hits. Good hits. Even if they trade one for one, that's still very good. They die, but that doesn't matter. 1.8k for 1k. The recovery does get used, and he has recovery apparently. I don't get why he would get recovery. I don't remember him getting recovery early on, but okay. RPG Boris does manage to smack down an Overlord, but he's gonna probably play too much with fire as the Cynical Sentinel is gonna be. Overwhelmed by this group of overlords, these uh, this Gorgon in the back is gonna do some nice, nice damage on them. Though, black bear in the black is gonna flank it. But the way, what's that? Those are volunteers. Oh, wait, no, that's they're getting sandwiched in. Oh no, the black bear is getting sandwiched in between these all overlords. He needs to the short side, short to be able to get fused. He needs to force fire, maybe. Oh, yeah, he's dead. And these golems with these Tesla won't be enough. The monsters do die, but the Tesla are gonna get destroyed. Sentinel did get killed as well. Gorgon is gonna pick it off on the side. Tactical those are moving through, destroying all the invisible non-existent mines, gonna clear them all one by one and show off his quick drifting skills. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not sure what I can handle such good dozer plays. The overlords are gonna move in because they're now basically upgraded over the what's the name battle mass at this point, because why would you spam anything else? Honestly, I like he doesn't even bother with Galling he's the bunker, he's like, okay, I have enough money, I could just spam Gat Lords. Now War Factor coming up because you know apparently two for just for, uh, overload production was enough or three. Is there a fourth one around here? Fourth one, yeah. Four overload, four for overload production is enough apparently. Okay, so just start doing his best, trying to kill these overlords. A few of them get cleared out. Um, cops getting picked off. Helicopter here, just watching the hind. Uh, what's his name? Colonel. What's a hind D doing here? I don't know, Snake. But he went for Topo, so he must be retarded. The light just does get used though. That's good. Tier 1 gonna get killed by, uh, by Exodus just in a second. And he's gonna kill the silo because, I mean, it's not gonna threaten him actually, so I don't know why. The Gorgons do manage to, uh, slow the, and put these two in red health. One of them will probably survive and he's going to go and kill some eco or something. As EMP does get used over here, he does manage to tail his army. Now he's gonna try to kill this, um, uh, this industrial plant, but he needs to kill the shock trooper as well. But no, the uh, the the hind does come in and does use Goliath, so the strike force is taken out. And this EMP is pretty much wasted. That's a real shame, honestly. But yeah, this Overlord Blob number two is is you know dead. And you know what they say? Uh, what's his name? Another batch is on its way. Please make them feel welcome, General. <laughs> Art. Wait. What was it? We will take this time to build more tanks and defeat you. Overlord gonna go down to a single hind again. He needs to get some good anti against us, like just hinds. I just glad those won't be in. Actually, it will be enough. But not one on ones, I guess. He needs some more hinds. Can I get some more hinds, please? Dude, please get more hinds. Like, I get it that you don't know that mass overlords should be counted by mass RPGs with, like, Grizzlies, maybe. Because of health and damage, but still. Oh, you see the uh, ECM strike, uh, the satellite strike, and it's rank three, I think, in the AOE. They will be saving all this and they take neutralizing all the anti air, and these golems will be actually killed before they do anything. But FOAP gonna drop down. Perfect FOAP. Drop it on the army, getting it destroyed. Ooh! Oh my god, that was a perfect fucking FOAP. I love that. Oh, I'm gonna fu totally fucking clip that. I'm gonna totally fucking clip that. That was a perfect hit for strike. Now, Exas is like, well, what now? Okay, then I'll use my own rank 5 GP. 
Okay, let's see where this rank 5 GP goes in. It's moving in, it's moving in. Wait, can I do this? Yes. Oh, go, Grumble, do try to take it out, but he drops it down on the Eco, I think. Yeah, on the secondary Eco and on the uh, the War Factory. This is going to be melted off the Eco. He's going to probably kill one. No, oh, wow, one health Grumble. Okay. The Grumble does survive. These uh, these uh, heli aircraft are still in the doing nothing, honestly, but I mean, what can you do? Ask from it, I guess, at this point. Black Bear is out again. We're going to hit our 40 minute mark, and Jesus Christ, how long is this game going to last? Is there an industrial plant fully yet? Yes. Is there a nuclear uh, salvage here? Because why not? Hmm. I'm pretty low to disable one more golem, but. Disable <laughs> while the thing was firing, I guess. It's so silly. <laughs> I still like that the scout still lives and it's giving us so much intel with the uh, satellite hack. Um, a black bear does manage to kill one of these sentinels. He needs to get more sentinels. I like this forward scout, this scout, <laughs> scout conscript, and the lack of any proper airfield production aside from like shock troopers. Not airfield conscript, uh, barracks production. Yeah. Bunker getting produced over here because he needs a decoy. Yeah, he's just wasting time with this. Now we are going to see who is going to use to kill this. I think if he just gets um, the Overlord would be enough, but just getting a Lotus would be enough too. Where's Lotus? Where is Lotus? Lotus. Lotus, Lotus, Lotus. No, you just get ranked up. It's probably just because it's only one unit, but, you know, the Black Bear is a unit that's known to get experience really fast. Well, not fast, but it doesn't die, so, yeah. There's no way this Spellmaster still exists here and he's just standing there. I don't believe that. I don't have to ask Xanus about it. Bogans do start to rind out and see if they can do any damage on this. I think there's going to be a mix response to this. I hope. They're going to scan this area, going to see where the, uh, the black bear is, they can see it. And the black bear is pretty fucking, you know, pretty fucking brave to go against all these units. Now, oh, yeah, they're going to get picked out. Rank 2 on the black bear, he's going to kill a second sentinel. First sentinel is going to get pounded out. Fourth one will probably get penetrated by this black bear. One more hit. No, but the Boris does get that veteran seed, so this a rank 2 Black Bear by just trading in the 4 for nothing. This is a good store to use this. Rank 2 Golem as well, but he's getting too close for the, uh, Boris getting too close for protection. Now he's gonna use the other Black Bear, needs to go in. Oof, I think he's doing a terrain on the because the units can't, uh, attack this unit unless they're here. What is that, is that an EMP strike? Yes, EMP bomb coming. He's gonna drop the EMP bomb, gonna destroy both, the, disable the Golem, every single, actually, every single tank in the area. And even though he's using the terrain smart, he's not gonna be... There's enemy we have to avoid this and this black bear's gonna probably gonna get killed. Uh, I don't get the why there's red guards, but I'm gl glad they're here, I guess. They're gonna kill this Gorgon right now, and they can probably help out with the other units. The other black the other uh, what's his name? Golems do come in to help them, but the black bear is dead. Short is getting used again. Or is chased down by red guards, and now these units on the left are like, hey, Norman, do you need help there? Oh, we didn't realize you had a problem. But you see the hind, the legendary hind, come in and kill another fucking I, I, I like it. I like the fight. How he's just using this at the end of the fight each time to clean up. So like, um, you know, he does. It's like he has. He can get ranked. Why? Why is he? Oh, just because of that. Oh, oh, the Goliaths. Oh, the Goliaths. Oh, the plays. The Goliath is perfect. All these mix got you know devastated. Just confused on what's lock on now that equipment got uh, on target. So yeah. So 41 minutes, and I'm getting really tired. I hope this replay ends soon. I'm getting sleepy at this point. A Gorgon does come in, is gonna destroy that, uh, oof, <laughs> double penetrate, oof. Yeah, okay, what size that sent to me? I rank two cents, we're gonna go into a bunch of old rows and die. Yes. No, I think not, I think I get enough, no, no.
Oh no, the ECM strike. ECM strike is gonna get used. The golems are gonna get outmatched by these overlords now. This ECM strike is gonna get slowly take out these golems' health. I think, yeah, these golems are all gonna get disabled. They are able to evade this, and now the answer is all decoyed up as well. He's definitely used the um, napalm strike right now as the grumbles are, you know, currently busy, and the boris does get killed as well. This might be the start of the end for Biomass, as uh, these overlords are gonna engage and destroy everything here. Pull out coming in. Another pull out. Oof. Oof. Again. Well, most of them do survive, but I think I should just clip it as exact as collabs or something. That will be nice. Oh, Napalm Strike does go in. Let's see what's going to hit. The Grumbles do hit him from the sides. Grumbles will kill the middle one, so there will be a failure. Yeah, he's not going to kill anything. He's going to probably kill his own scout. He's gonna kill his own scout that he's at for all this game. The scout's been loyal to you for all this game and you killed him. Could you, Exatus? How could you, good sir? You've been floating 11k, but you couldn't think of your scout. Oh yeah, volunteer spell. That's not gonna uh, that's gonna be effective against them, but well, not amazing. Oh, yeah, this is such a thing back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, that was a tasty sh sh uh, thermobaric shot. Now, remember, the thermobaric hits from the Black Bear, it can kill any infantry unit, even with chemical suits and veterans see up and hold the line, and it can actually clear buildings. It's the only unit aside from the Schmel and the. Um, oh, wait, not the no, EMP. EMP. Yeah, if you strike, gonna drop and gonna hit the black bear. Not again. Dark, never, never gun. Oh, no, I gonna move in to for a kill. I hope they'll be able to have enough time to kill because it doesn't seem like it. I heard something nuclear going on there. Was that a nuclear shenlong? Did you get nuclear nukes GP at this rank? What time do you have nukes? But you got nuclear shenlongs right now. Which, I mean, is a bad idea against golems because golems are hard counter countering that thing. But yeah, the Black Bear is going to go down. It's going to go, not go down without a fight. He's unable to score to end the Tesla thing in the back. It's going to do good damage to it on the side. And this forced fight on the ground, which is, you know, how you should counter that. It's really hard to do in a defensive game or an unlike game, so. Good good for that. Meanwhile, Rank 3 Grizzly, doing its best to be relevant in the game, but still is a pointless unit. Alright, Grizzly should be removed at this point. That's a heroic golem. If only he didn't send his units to die. 45 minutes, Jesus Christ. This is why you don't, I'm getting tired casting games. Oh my god, Second Hind does exist in the game. He does build more than two helicopters, I think. Hopefully. I mean, is this the only th fun thing? Well, yeah, these golems. Oh god, these golems did survive as overlords. Good on him. Pew. One more? Hmm? No more? Aww. Hines would be great right now, though. Hines, could you please? Hines. Clean up? No? Oh, there's wind things over there, so that's not gonna be amazing. This is where he's using it. Okay, I guess. Oh, the foab. Did he foab this? No, he couldn't have. The foab would. Uh, he probably tu twenty two striked it or something. I don't know why he did it. So I don't know. Something destroyed the airfield here, though. I don't think in any way in hell if foab would gone through there. <sighs> so a question for you guys. You guys can answer under the comments below.
So here's a question for you guys. You can write in the comments. Do you guys think the 4F should be buffed? I think it should because the primary damage it has gives it a... Um, what's its name? A thou 2,000 damage and the secondary damage is 750. I think the 750 should actually be a um, 1,000. Yeah. Overall, is going to get killed by these heavy units. Um, let's see, Gorgon does start firing. The Ring 1 Black Bear is going to move in. Can probably kill all of them? No. They like to trade in for nothing. And Oh, no. Oh, no. The uh, the ECM satellite is going to go away. And it's going to start taking damage of the ECM. Oh, no. He's got to disable the Black Bear? No, he couldn't. Black Bear is going to get disabled. Oh, my God. It's happening. What's it doing? What is this Black Bear doing? Black Bear, what are you doing? Short is used one health on the uh, Black Bear. It is going to be basically targeting the missiles. Uh, the ECM thing is the thing here, but one health, it does get disabled, but then it dies. Uh. Alright, alright, so Shock Troopers are going to come here. ECM is going to drop, ECMP is going to drop down and save all these tanks. This will be a time to go back in and, you know, yeah, our Rizang and called in. Tactical pea shooter coming in. And rank two on the uh, the Shen Long, but the Boris will be get king killed by this uh, Gat cannons. Seriously, this is the literally the only releasing counter type of new cannons. And they're all still on launch too. He tells the tower does get destroyed. 15 minutes almost into the game, I think he should quit by now. Come on, Byron, you lost. You don't you didn't build enough helicopters. You didn't like get you can come. You didn't build an infantry. I think it's time for you to stop. Oh, another four up. <gasps> another four up. It's gonna drop. Okay, boom. Nah, this one's not that good. But I do hear a nuclear missile getting launched somewhere. Why did he launch it? Oh, oh, that's how he killed it last time. Okay, that's how he killed it. Tier two getting melted and shredded in seconds. Jesus Christ. And it's gonna destroy that. I wish he targeted the second eco with that. Oh uh, yes, the fuck you recon missile into a tank. Uh, oh, oh yeah, the Goliath Hines aren't the twin things. Don't care. They have an AOE. Okay, these units are gonna get killed, and I don't think there's any other way for them to kill. Yeah, I don't think Lemmy can come back in any way at this point. Like he could negate the damage, but he's still ahead. Look at that. He's still producing lots of tanks. He has a low power though because of that unit. Okay, Napalm Strike is gonna come in. Um, he's gonna be running away from the units for some reason. I think we could take him out, but honestly, I don't know. I can't understand his ass most times, so he's a mystery to me. Hey, Pop Sack is gonna go down, gonna kill one more factory. Uh, the RPG tower does survive, but that's it, folks. Apparently, it's only good for King Industrial Plants. So, guys, when are you ending? Like, is there even a dozer for Vitamin? I don't think so. No tier 1, no tier 2. No those, no tier 1 does exist, never mind. Yeah, now he's gonna go into a back. He's like, oh wait, I'm, I'm, you know, like, I'm like in China, I don't care. He just goes back into the army. He's gonna go head to head with it. Oof. Very good, very good. Yeah, the short is getting used, but even with the, ca even with the rest of China's gonna take the casualties in this. I would go throw in the Twin Fangs in the front line so they can take the hits because I don't think there's any air units coming in. Like, he would probably see that by now with the spy planes and know that they don't really pose a big threat. Now Golden getting killed. And the radar's getting killed. He doesn't have anything. He has only two Heinz and I guess you could kill with two Heinz if you tried, but is it really worth your time? Yeah, he's gonna try. Okay, fine. Kill your three, uh, what's it, yeah, rank two on the Heinz. Oh god, get back, get back, get back, get back. Oh, why don't you go down? The, the elite one does survive, though. It will need to reload and re, uh, rearm and get the uh, upgrade up before you... Oh, Kodiak, really? He's a Kodiak, right? Yeah, sure, buddy. Worst unit right now. Like, a mod would make more sense, but fine. Oh god, he's gonna go into the arm supplier farm. Oh no! Run! Run, little overlords, run! I do like the range on that thing, that's silly range. He's running them over, Jesus Christ, what BM is this? But again, I think this will be the fastest way to kill it. Byman must be furious because he's not surrendering right now, he's just still going on with it. Uh, Hellion does get killed, but Tesla Tank is gonna survive. He's gonna go on low power, I think, right now. Yeah, 
use on low power right now, and I think this is game over. Come on, Vitamin, just surrender, man. It's been 52 minutes. You're getting a good fight. You can do it. These overload tanks are elite, but this overload, um, we're probably killing at rank 2 elite, yeah. Oh no, the, the heroic grizzly, it's game over. Exas lost, you can't kill a heroic grizzly. Oh wait, you can because it's a pointless unit. EMP strike gonna come down, gonna drop on something. Okay. What a, what a waste of time and money, but the RPG is the RPG worth to do an aim shot over there, so. That's good, I guess. So, second overload army? Second overload army. Not even, not even bother with the components, huh? Knowing exactly, you probably rally point him to the enemy base. Like, that's what you're gonna do with it. Ah, yes, the last arm supply dying. Ah, uh, shock troops is getting thrown into this. Honestly, for mass overloads, I think RPG conscripts are better. For now. Unless it's ECMs. Like, ECMs, then, yeah, it's your shock troopers. I do like how fragile these overlords are. They don't look like the Zero Hour Lords. Like Zero Hour Lords, you would be afraid of them now, and Rise of Red, they're all like just bigger tanks at this point. Again, yeah, not even Sentinels fill in the rank of the Overlord in this game. Like, Overlord at different places are out. And then again, there was Nuclear Engine Overlords, even though Bunker Lords exist, and it's not nothing as good. But again, for Gandalf, basically, you know, every, something everything can get in this game. Like, well, yeah, it needs to be more hard to achieve, but eh, kill almost into me. Now the units are bouncing around having poured ammo again. The Vitamin Rust finally surrenders at 55 minutes in the game. You are victorious. Oh, finally. Let's check the end game screen, though. Wow. Okay, well then, with that, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to say thank you for watching, and I'd like to see you guys next time. Have a nice day. Goodbye.